third season on ice. And it Thank makes you. sense because it's so cold and everything's <laughs> icy. Yeah, that's good. So it's, it's, he's uh, wrong. He's a little wrong. Yeah, he's so. a little wrong. Uh, we were accurate in our forecast. Right, and we I don't were. know if that's good or bad. It's yeah, great, but yeah. you know, here good it goes. Good for us, bad for the weather. Yeah, you know. The high today, five degrees. I look at these numbers. It is kind of amazing when you should normally be around 38 for Kansas City. And our morning start was at uh, minus four. Now, we didn't set a record. It was actually minus 14 in 1916. However, you can see the, the uh, difference there. It's going to be some time before we get back into the 30s. As for the power outages, Anderson County, Kansas reporting some. Uh, then we look at, uh, well, actually earlier it was Johnson County, and now it's, it's actually taken that off. Payola area getting some power outages. And Jackson County seems to be the hardest hit from all this, and uh, they continue with some power outages in that county. What can you expect from now through Tuesday? More of the same, basically. Now, the coldest day will be tomorrow. I know it's hard to feel the difference in it, but our daytime highs for the next three days, anywhere from minus 2 to 9 above zero. The lows, the morning lows, anywhere from minus 11 to minus 8, and your wind chill, negative 25 to negative 40. That's how cold it is. A big impact on us. Road temperatures are down to only single digits, but down below zero, like negative 2 in Kansas City, negative 4 in Lee Summit. So no doubt what precipitation we may get, which is very little, but if we get it, the roads, no doubt. It, nothing's going to melt right away, in fact. All right, so downtown at minus 5 with clear skies. Our dew point at negative 17. Relative humidity at 55%. Wind speeds about 11 miles an hour. You saw the wind chill there at minus 23. Look at Platte City down to 9 below 0 on the thermometer reading. These are thermometer readings. Smithville at 10 below. 8 below in Independence. Olathe 7 below. A little farther out. Look at Maryville. 12 below 0. 14 below 0 in Trenton. Negative 4 in Warrensburg and negative 6 in Ottawa. And the wind chill factors are a big factor. This is how it feels to the exposed skin. Negative 31 in St. Joseph and Atchison and negative 27 for Odessa and Lee Summit. A little bit of cloudiness out there, but mostly clear skies and we're going to be kind of quiet. But here's the core of that Arctic air and it's moving southeastward. So this is why we're going to have tomorrow as the coldest day and we slowly start to rebound and I mean very slowly. After we start out tomorrow morning at negative 11, that's just a thermometer reading. You might get a few breaks in sunshine early part of the day, but then overcast skies and the high tomorrow. We're actually going up to negative two for the afternoon high in Kansas City, a wind chill anywhere from negative 18 to about negative 25. All right, uh, future scan shows a little bit of light snow to the south of here. That is it. Butler, you might get a quick little burst of a little bit of light snow, but nothing really significant from this. Overall, it should be rather uh, quiet conditions for all of us. Okay, now let's get to the nine day forecast and talk about what can we expect for the next few days. Three above zero on Monday, nine above zero on Tuesday, 27 and 24 midweek with a slight chance of snow on Thursday, Friday. We drop back down, but overall staying in the numbers below uh, normal. We won't get back into the 30s until a week from Monday.